Today we're going up to Coomera Boat Works to haul the boat out and just do a little bit of maintenance work, raise the water line, the anti-fouling, um, put some prop speed on the prop shafts and propeller, uh, put an earth plate on and a few other little maintenance jobs. We're coming up here going around the top, down through the Coomera River, all the way around here, somewhere around there that's not marked and we'll just pick up into here I think. Shop, dine, play, stay, and pay a million dollars. Early start, haul out. Yep, haul and out we're going to start works. the haul out. Anyway, hello. <laughs> and we're going to start the haul out. Dave, I know you're going to be watching this, so do us a, like, a thumbs up and a like. It's a bit dirty there on the hulls. That's why we are hauling out just to raise the water line. Three years later we are taking the boat out and George is with Papa there again. This is pretty amazing machine. This one looks like them trays. They can adjust to the length, to the width, and they can go wider or narrower depending where you want to position it under your boat. Look at this boat coming out. I wonder why are they taking this one out? It looks pretty good. Look at the size of the wheels. So we started at 7 o'clock, now it's 7.30 and we are pretty much out of the water, everything has been set up.
sort of works are we having? having done? Uh, you're going to get a, bit of a light pressure water blast. Yep. Look how it just cuts this layer of mud with water, with this water blaster, so easily. Papa, why do they easily A lot of pressure. The floor at first, Papa? She's clean. Yeah. Nice and clean now. There you go, that's the final stop. It took them one hour to take it out of the water, water blast it, and bring it to the parking. That's it, we are standing, we're all good now. What kind of job are you doing, George? Cleaning the boat here, I'm going to do the inside of the hole a bit more now. No, guys. But since the boat is that dirty, you need a little thing. <laughs> Look at this worker. That's of great help. We're replacing these anodes. A little bit worn now. I think it's about 70% surface area. Less than that, you replace them. So they'll be three years old. Prop shafts. They're going to be sanding that. Yep. Yeah, you're going to be sanding that and the propellers and the blades. Trying to restore this stainless. It's going to be hard. All the stains, and I'll use the same cut and polish. This is how this side is before I start cleaning it. I'm going to clean it in a second. And this is how the other side looks after I pretty much cleaned it. There's a little bit of maybe a bit more detailing, but you could see me there. bit more here yeah I see yeah all dead now no no not just the stone yeah you gotta get the, all the black stuff yeah maybe use the um use the little bubbles as a guide so here I'll do it with you hang on to it we're gonna go like this you see that line of bubbles right there okay you wanna turn it on you wanna do it Hello. 
Do you want to be famous? Yeah. Do you, you want to be, be famous, famous on YouTube? Aww. Guys, <laughs> this is our friend's dog, Char. <laughs> Isn't she gorgeous? Is she bluey? Yep. Hello, dog. <laughs> Today I'm polishing the boat, getting rid of all this tricky stuff, make it back nice and shiny. Some of them. What, what are you doing there, Georgie? Um, so I'm doing something for my friend's boat, and this is for the ropes. And um, show me, it says oh, crazy, crazy little thing. No, just crazy. That's the name of their boat. The, the name of their boat is crazy, crazy little thing. Oh, that's probably who were uh, hanging crazy little thing, probably, though. Um, beep, beep. That's a little shark. That's a shark thing. Okay. That's the waters. And that's a boat just cruising by. So I'm going nice. to do another one. I've got to think of my model. This is what you've done? Yep. This is what you chose? Yeah, uh huh. So you ended up not choosing dragon? Nope. That's okay. Right, here's the earth plate for our uh, inverter. I think this is going to be a good position for it here. Really thought it was going to be intrusive with the bolts. Good. Bedding down for the earthquake. It's a bit curved. Okay. You're going to glue it today? Yep, I'm going to glue it today. I'm going to put the backing pad on tomorrow. And then seal it all up and bolt it on. A bit of hull damage, a bit of paint work, a bit of cosmetic. Raise the waterline 100 mil. Put some more copper coat on. Well, she'll miss the painless. Polish everything right underneath. Fix a couple of little paint things. A little bit of paint damage here and there. And well, that's the water line here. All done. Primed. Still has to be polished. Both sides looking pretty good. The sides being polished.
this is the second coat. How much longer, darling? Um, about five minutes. We put five coats on this strip altogether. When I asked Paul what is the summary of the week one, this is what he said. It's involved in the week two and week three. <laughs> Yeah, this is in a nutshell. It will be two weeks to go. To polish the paintwork, the way we do it, we first clean the surface, then we apply some cut and polish compound from Super Cheap Auto, then we buff it up with this power tool, and you take a clean cloth and you remove it, whatever was left, all this dry residue, and then on top of it you apply a gel coat sealer that we order from South Australia and then once this one dried a couple of minutes later you wipe it off with a clean dry cloth once again. This is how it looks. From the top nearly perfect and we still have the other side to do guys. That's gonna be the job for the next few days. This is another project that we have, sanding and varnishing the teak decks. I first started sanding them by hand, but it was a very long process. So Paul gave them a quick sand with the power tool. Are you having fun, Georgia? Uh huh. I'm making a bunch here for my next uh, one. Oh, cool. guys I'm gonna give it another coat this is how it looks after the first coat yeah I gotta I don't know what to do <laughs> I'll go and inspect the teak lady. Oh man. You like it? Going pretty good. Yeah. Say hello to the guys. What? Say hello to the guys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I'm out of here. I'm going live. Oh. Nah. What are you doing today? Having a coffee. Having <laughs> a coffee. Here we are at the boat works. The rain has held us up for the last week. Yeah. It's been raining a week. So, in these two weeks, you probably yep. heard enough of grinding noises and polishing noises. So we just decided we stop this video here. And um, the next video, we are really excited to start working on it because that's when we'll be going in the water, hopefully in seven days from now. And um, we got a, uh, our, the logo, the name of our boat that we are working now with a graphic designer. So you will see in the next video and let us know what you think. We also ordered two our sails. Sales. Here we have our new screecher. And storm jib. And the storm jib. Made by Ian Short Sails. He's also made a furling jib in the main sail. Sure, right that now. we're all quite pleased with. And we can start sorting all that gear out. We need some lines, some sheet lines, and set it all up on the furlers and everything. So, 
But we'll do that on the water. <laughs> How were, were you two weeks, Georgie? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> what yeah, have you done? Two weeks on the hard. It seems like we've been here forever. Yeah, people are so yeah. nice here. Yeah, best, the I best made so many life. friends. And what else? I made uh, three friends. One of them I already know, and I made two. How about the dog? Yep, and the dog. I walk the dog every day, twice a day, every day. <laughs> I don't actually know how to say that. So yeah, and the thing is, we have to have, have to um, had to leave my bike at Nana's place because we couldn't bring on the boat. So I'm thinking to get a smaller bike, something like a BMX bike. <laughs> well, we'll see about it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. And uh, we are really glad to see yep. that we have a few subscribers, a few more subscribers in the last couple of days. So thank you for your support. We really appreciate it. And, and check we, out GOG Adventures. And we can't wait to get back in the water. So next week, stay tuned. And check out my channel, GOG Adventures. See you later. See ya. Bye. Bye.